Hey friends, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome, and if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, for today, we're gonna be doing a lip swatching video, and I love lip swatching videos. I like to watch them, but I also like to film them. So a few weeks ago, I was browsing through TikTok, and I seen Kelly Strack doing like an ad promotional video for Juvia's Place. She was pretty much saying that Juvia's Place was having like 50% off their eyeshadow palettes if you used code TikTok50. I went on the website, and I was like, let me try to buy some lipstick just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Although Juvia's Place's eyeshadow palettes are phenomenal, they have a really great formula, I just have way too many palettes. But I feel like I can't ever have enough lipsticks just because I wear them all the time and I love lipsticks. So lo and behold, the code did work and I was so excited. So I got three lipstick bundles and each bundle comes with four lipsticks. So I got the Nude Peaches bundle, which of course comes with four. Then I got the Nude Chocolates. And then I got the Nude Mauves. So again, guys, the code is TikTok50. I'm gonna go on Juvia's Place's website right now and try to type that code in to see if it's still working. Okay, so it looks like the lipsticks are actually still on sale. They're from $60 to $30. Okay, so I just typed in TikTok50 and it says discount code isn't valid for the items in your car. So they might have changed it where lots of people were actually getting like lipsticks and stuff, but I think it was meant only for eyeshadow palettes. So if you guys do want a good eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place, definitely try that code and you can get 50% off. So I'm definitely sad that you guys aren't going to be able to get a discount like I did. But let's go ahead and start swatching all these shades. I actually got all these lipsticks last week, but when they sent them the first time, they sent two of the same shades and missed one of the shades. So I reached out to them and they were kind enough to send me the shade that was missing. So these four are the mauves. Then we have the peaches. And then we have the chocolates. So I think we're going to start with the peaches first and kind of work our way from lightest to darkest. I'm not going to talk too much throughout the swatching part of the video, but at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts. Let you know if they're good. Let you know if they're not good. Let you know how they feel on the lips and all that good stuff. So I'm first going to start with the shade called Mademoiselle. Here is what the packaging looks like. So it's square and it is pretty simple. And I love the two ombre pinky tones. So it has a soft matte feel to it. And here is the shade. So it does have like a different type of shape at the tip. Mmm, and it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Just by looking at it, it looks like it's going to be a super creamy soft matte. So let's go ahead and start swatching. So here is the shade Mademoiselle Swatched. It's going to be interesting to see how this tip works when I apply it. Actually makes it really, really easy to apply. Like, I feel like you could almost even use these as a liner just because they have that, like, really thin point. They are super duper creamy. So the next shade we have is called In Vogue. This one is definitely way more peachy toned than the last one. Of course, they're all peachy tones, but this one is, like, screaming peach. Next is the shade Libra. Last one from the Peaches collection is called Me. Now we're going to get into the mauve shades. Here we have the shade 2020. I love the shade 2020. It's such a pretty mauve tone and it's like a your lips but better type of shade. I love it. Next up we have the shade Chic. Next, we have the shade Mauve Moment. That shade from the Mobs collection is called Kebby or Kibi. Now we're going to get into the chocolates. First shade from the chocolates is the shade Lady. Now 
Next is the shade Muted. Next is the shade Toffee. Lastly, we have the shade Coco. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a lip liner and pair it up with one of the shades. I'm going to take my favorite liner of all time. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know exactly what it is. It's the Essence Lip Liner in the shade 01 Curious. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Me. And yeah, there is the finished lip and here are all these swatches. So I did pick out a few of my favorites, but I honestly think all of the shades were so freaking good. Like, and also the shape of these lipsticks make them extremely easy to fill in your lips. So if you can see, there is like a point at the top and it just makes it really easy for like, I don't know, like getting in the corners and kind of just like lining your lips and getting the shape that you want without it being extremely messy. Also, I would say they're like a true semi soft matte finish. Like they're matte, but they're not dry. Can also still move my lips together so i love that again i love the packaging as well it's super simple but still has that like matte finish okay so really quickly let me go over all my favorite shades with you so of course the shade that i'm wearing now is the shade me this is from the mobs collection so we have the other one in chic then we have the one in kebby or kibi wait what did i just put on my lips i thought i put a mob one on my lips but no i think i used the me shade which actually is from the peaches collection which again i did really like this one i did love all the mauve shades so the next mauve shade was mauve moment again i loved all of the mauve shades and then the last mauve shade was the shade 2020. if you like lipsticks that are like slightly pink or more mauve then you're gonna love the mauve collection i am obsessed with it i loved every single one of the mauve shades I feel like they were all like super pretty and I feel like they would go with a lot of like lips and different skin tones. So from the Peaches collection, I also liked the shade Libra. And then I have two of them that I liked from the Nudes collection and that one was Toffee and Coco, which was the last darkest shade. Now Coco isn't something that I would wear on a daily basis, but I do like having something that's super dark and chocolatey like this in my collection. And it also kind of had like a purplish reddish undertone, which I really liked. So out of all 12 shades, eight of them were my favorite. But at the price that I got them for, it's just unbeatable. Even right now, guys, on their website, instead of four shades being $60, they're marked down to 30, which is still a really great deal, especially for four lipsticks. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video. Do you enjoy lip swatching videos? Let me know down below. Also, if you guys did end up liking this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. I feel like I didn't talk a lot about the lipsticks. Like, did I... If I talk more, am I going to sound repetitive? Like, I don't know, you guys. I'm all over the place half of the time. Like, not even half the time. 90% of the time, my brain is over there and my lips are right here. And that's just how my freaking life is. But yes, the formula, again, is super creamy. It's matte, but it's not like so matte where your lips are going to feel dry. I'm going to have to do like a test throughout the day to see if they actually last like all day. I don't think they claim to last like all day or anything. Do you want to test it out and see? And I'll keep you guys updated in the description box below. Okay, so I do have quite a bit of transfer, but unless they're like extremely matte or extremely drying, I feel like they're always going to kind of smudge off and wear off throughout the day. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lip swatching video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Also guys, a little reminder, when I hit 2000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and I literally can't thank you guys enough. I'm like, I want to say like what, like 70 away from 2000 and it couldn't have been possible without you guys so thank you so much for all the love and support i love you guys so much yeah i will see you guys later